One of the drawbacks of using webhooks as a trigger for an IntegraMet scenario is testing that webhook. Webhooks can be difficult or take a lot of work to trigger. Like when you have a webhook for a Stripe purchase or a form submission, for example, those take a lot of work or money to actually trigger those webhooks. In this video, I'll show you how to make IntegraMat webhook testing easy with a platform called Postman. Please smash the like button on the video and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. All right, I'm already logged into Postman here. I put a link below. You can go f create a free account on Postman. Uh, that's the account I'm using. I'm not paying for anything here, so it's super easy to use. I'm gonna go to Workspaces, and you will wanna create a workspace, or it'll probably ask you to create one, or create one for you if you have a new account. I'm gonna click on Tutorial Workspace, and I'm gonna go over here to New, and I'm gonna click HTTP Request, okay? So, I'm gonna change this to post because we're gonna do a post request. And basically, let me back up just a little bit. We're gonna get the JSON code from a webhook that's already fired, uh, or from a scenario run that's already fired to our webhook. We're gonna grab that data. We're gonna put it in here with the URL. And all we have to do is click that blue send button over and over and over again to test our webhook. So as we're building our scenario, and we need to test it, we just come in here and click send. We don't have to go make a Stripe purchase. We don't have to go fill out a form or whatever it is triggering your webhook. You don't have to go do that. You just go over here and hit send. And that way you can test and work on your scenario without having to do all those crazy things to make it run. So over here, I have a scenario that's already run. Now, you might have a scenario that, hey, it's already run, but you're like, oh no, where do I get the code? Okay, this is really easy. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna go down here to your history and you're gonna hit details. And we're gonna click right in here on the bubble and we need the JSON code that our webhook sent, that was sent to our webhook uh, to put into Postman. And where you get this is you click on this download and you click download output bundles. Right here, yours is gonna look different than mine, but right here is the code. This is JSON code. And if you're not familiar with JSON and you're not a coder, not a big deal. If you can copy and paste, you can do what I'm about to show you. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go over here to Postman. And we're gonna go over here to Body. And we wanna choose Raw. And then right over here, we wanna change text to JSON. And right here, we're gonna paste that JSON, okay? So this is the data that's gonna be sent to our webhook. Now, if you wanna change this, if you wanna edit this in the side of the JSON and send something a little bit different, you can totally do that right here. Uh, there's some rules with uh, JSON that you don't wanna break, but you can do that here. You can edit it and send a different version if you'd like. Now, right up here, we need the URL to send to. So I'm gonna go back to my webhook. I need that tab. I'm gonna go back to my diagram. And I'm gonna click on the webhook. And I'm going to click copy address to clipboard. So here's the address right here. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to Postman and I'm going to paste that right there. Now we're ready to go to test this. So I'm going to go back over to, to my scenario. I'm going to hit run once. I'm going to go to Postman and I'm going to hit send. Right down here you see accepted, which means uh, we have a 200 status code. Uh, it went through. So if we go over here to our scenario, here is our data, all right? Now to prove it to you, I'm gonna change the product price to $150. So let's run this again. Let me just show you how to edit this. We get $150 over here and hit send. It was accepted. Go right back over here. And now our price is $150. So that's how easy it is to test a webhook. Uh, again, if this is a form, if it's a purchase, an e-commerce purchase, or a Stripe transaction that you're trying to track, those are really hard to recreate, especially if your forms are long. So you can do this, you can grab the JSON code, which again, you get right here from your output bundles. So it's gonna have to run at least once, and then you go copy this, you put it into Postman with your webhook link, and you can test it as many times as you want. All you do is click send, and you can test your scenario over and over again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like it, hit a thumbs up, leave me a comment if you have a question or a thought about it, and thanks for watching.